two chapters on the line, uh, LA, uh, Chicago, Washington, uh, Cincinnati. Uh, do we have any others on the line uh, or uh, the FAU women? All right, uh, we're going to get started. And the second, I am here going to make sure do some house cleaning uh, chores. All right, uh, you can star six if you want to uh, go on silent mode. Uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, run this. I'm going to try and keep your time, try and keep this down to an hour today. Uh, but if we have questions and they need answers, uh, we will go after no more than two hours. Uh, each day, uh, the previous day's uh, conference will be posted on uh, Friends of the African Union on Facebook. And uh, by Friday, we will be posting all the conversations on FAUchamber.org. Uh, FAUchamber.org is a free Chamber of Commerce membership currently. And then uh, it's going to be $1,000 a year, $100 uh, a month. Uh, organization uh, so that we can bring together a million of our businesses by October 16, 2016. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see who's on the line. Anybody want to uh, give station identification? Uh, uh, any of our women are, uh, are you on the line? And if you want to give station identification, please do so. Yes, this is uh, Carlton Brown, FAU Cincinnati. <laughs> Uh, Carlton Brown Foundation, FAU Cincinnati, sir. All right, thank you, Carlton. Is uh, Lima, are you on? All right. Uh, does anybody else want to go into the station identification, or do we need to jump right into it? All right, Lima, here. Yeah, I was just waiting for that moment to announce myself. Okay. Hello, everyone. Okay. I also have um, Charlie from Montana here as well, and Ebiana from Atlanta in North Carolina. Muted. Oh. Hello, there. All right. Welcome, ladies. Also, I'm John Sarri. You watch the Hey, Captain is here from Atlanta. Hey, Captain. All right. Let's see. Um, Hello, everyone. Yes, John Hill. I'm here from Atlanta. I'm gonna have to call back. I think I have a bad connection. I'm gonna have to sign up. So I'll sign back in. So. Okay. Uh, thank you, Julie. Okay. Uh, let's see. What I'm going to do? Okay. I'm going to uh, uh, meet everybody with a intro, and uh, then uh, we will uh, open back up the line. Okay. And uh, all right. So here we are. Uh, we are uh, gathered on this uh, leading up to this uh, convention. Okay. So this is where the African Union has reached out and said, "Come together on a worldwide convention." And it's now expanded. Uh, that it'll be. A uh, couple hundred uh, people uh, gathering together at uh, Compton State uh, University. And we are going to uh, be uh, talking about uh, the 50 year plan of the African Union and our participation in it. Uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, vote for the uh, 20 uh, uh, representatives in the African Union. Uh, we are bringing to the table uh, the uh, solutions to the five uh, legacy projects that were uh, proposed and accepted by the leadership of Africa. Uh, we're bringing to the table a, uh, a proposal to create a, a global resource uh, anticipation-based bank against the $200 trillion in uh, African assets and the over $100 trillion in assets of uh, those of us of 
National Bureau. So like there's a United States of America Bureau, there's a Bermuda Bureau, there's a Jamaica, Nigeria, Liberia, Ghana, uh, Vietnam, China, uh, Australia. So there's uh, approximately, uh, call it the 30 nation bureaus, where we have two or more people uh, who are part of the uh, FAU, and I wanted to start a uh, national bureau. Uh, 
9 p.m. there will be a call the day after that and uh, on uh, going. Uh, so let's get into erasing uh, nobody has an organizational structure question. So let's get into uh, implementation of, of things. As I mentioned to you earlier, the one of them. 
this is Bob Jones. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, Mr. Cavillo brought me in. I'm on mute. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Hello. Now, Hello. To you, uh, go ahead, sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, it's me. I just wanted to let you know I'm on a call. It's Eric Baby from a right. the Village, Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Glad, glad that you're here. Uh, so th this is the way, the, the reason that uh, freeconferencecall.com uh, works, okay? Uh, the number that we have is, is out there somewhere in, uh, I'd say, uh, out in the Midwest, and under the rules of the Federal Communications uh, Commission, uh, basically, uh, freeconferencecall.com uh, gave uh, splitting 0.1% uh, or, or some uh, figure of the land access for this number for you all dialed in to this number and if you have unlimited dialing on your phone system it will let you dial in but in your terms of service on some carriers uh, they don't let you dial into this number because you may have unlimited phone uh, uh, service but when they call in this number they as a carrier have to pay because it's in a rural location and that's the way it's set up under the federal communications system is that they have to pay a toll access because it was presumed that in rural locations it was more difficult to uh, create universal service. And so if you look on your phone bill, you'll see a charge uh, for uh, many of the carriers on universal uh, charge and that sets up a fund uh, that uh, the uh, uh, services like this can uh, split with the local teleco companies. And so that's why this service is free in which way, but it may be that your uh, carrier has a uh, clause that you don't read in that terms of service that most people just skip over and say, okay, they, they you know, how much is it per month? Okay, $100 for broadband, great, okay, I'll take it. And they don't read the terms of service that they either limit your uh, uh, total uh, bandwidth uh, per month or they limit that you can't call on these uh, rural sites uh, that uh, uh, you then, okay, uh, they have to split a fee, they have to pay a fee that is then split between uh, the local rural carrier and uh, free uh, conference call com. As a matter of fact, uh, I know this because of uh, my 45 years experience in electronics and communications, and we plan to meet that, those requirements in the same way uh, that freeconferencecall.com does, with the difference is that we are uh, planning to be also a rural carrier uh, with our partners in uh, Africa and uh, uh, here in America, and uh, to the joint venture own uh, what's called a competitive local exchange carriers, and thereby uh, we would uh, uh, split the fee among ourselves, and the profits from that uh, goes to erase the digital divide and the over 800 million African young people uh, who either don't have uh, uh, access to computers because they don't have any electricity, and they don't have solar, they don't have uh, water, they don't have uh, power. Okay, and uh, you know, that's one of the things that uh, President Obama started to commit us in the United States on in 2012. I was at the conference in 2014. He made $14 billion worth of commitments. The problem is he's going top down. He's going with GE. He's going with the big boys who then run big projects with the government and uh, where China and others are going with uh, can I install you a solar uh, cell uh, system to power your phone, uh, your speed light, your stoplight, and uh, I'll hire 600 or 1,000 people at street level, and uh, we'll give uh, our middlemen agents uh, uh, lines of credit, in some cases up to a billion dollars, so they can do it. So it's more popular because you got more people involved versus Obama's way. Uh, we plan to uh, uh, change that equation at this conference uh, by putting forth an uh, energy uh, program, uh, not only for uh, Africa, but for us here in America, uh, that we are a competitive energy uh, supplier, uh, not only through solar, uh, okay, but other technologies that uh, our people bring to the table. And some of those technologies come from Africa to come here. And the same thing that I'm talking about in communications, okay? Uh, we are starting in uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Bermuda, and the United States. And uh, what we're doing 
buying an already established, our intention, excuse me, our intention is to buy an already established uh, incumbent local exchange carrier uh, here in America and uh, two global uh, carriers in uh, Zimbabwe uh, for a total of 3 million lines in the uh, first go round in 2016 uh, with the intention to grow to, by 2020, 100 million lines under management. Uh, 20 million of which will be uh, here in the West, and uh, so 80 million of which will be on continental Africa. And that from that, uh, we will serve uh, the uh, uh, total out of 1.4 billion people. Uh, we'll serve somewhere in, in the neighborhood. Uh, our goal is to serve 7% of uh, that market and uh, to build up our own. I mean, one of the complaints that we have is, is that. Uh, uh, we don't control the media. Our story is getting out, okay? And so uh, we've uh, designed an integrated uh, platform that uh, has built-in social media capability uh, tied to telephones, and uh, we're bringing into that a uh, technology uh, infrastructure that lets you create a digital rights management for each individual. Each each individual on this network will be a business partner on the network so that each household then will have a business and will have an online infrastructure and member as a, of the Chamber of Commerce that uh, will make available to them how to be in business, how to go to business, how to specialize in special areas. We'll have a focus for those who are in public housing. We'll have a focus for those who are uh, veterans. We'll have a focus. By the way, the veterans is all veterans, African veterans, not just American veterans. It's going to be all veterans. Uh, uh, people with disability, uh, victims of uh, crime, uh, et cetera. So we, we have 20 areas that we specifically target to have a, uh, on this, to have distance learning uh, uh, YouTube type of uh, infrastructure uh, so that would be supported by a coalition of companies uh, that would be uh, drawn not only from our community, uh, but also global spanning companies uh, that uh, says that they want to have access uh, to the market of 1.4 billion people. Uh, who uh, have uh, uh, income that includes uh, here in the United States over a trillion dollars. So uh, we've been putting this together. Uh, we're uh, entered into negotiations with uh, sourcing supply uh, from uh, uh, major manufacturers. Uh, we are going to, at this convention, at the convention, we're going to sit down and we're going to hammer out uh, between all of us uh, who are involved in this uh, I don't think, uh, that uh, would uh, implement this. Uh, we've already uh, worked out the agreement with uh, uh, some of the nation states uh, who are involved in this. And so each nation state uh, will have a public-private partnership on the model that we're putting together in Zimbabwe and Bermuda where 60% of the local public-private partnership will be owned by uh, the government and half and the uh, civilian uh, uh, sector, civil sector, and private investors uh, who are uh, nationals of that country. So that 40% of that then will uh, be held by the international company uh, that will provide the uh, financing uh, for the project and the technology. Uh, so that uh, model will be discussed more, and if you're interested in that, uh, I start sending out to some of the respondents yesterday, and I'll have through before tomorrow, uh, the uh, non-disclosure circumvention agreements uh, to everybody uh, who's interested in this, and you can send that to FAU chairman at gmail.com, and uh, I will be sure tonight, uh, before I retire, to make sure that you get that. Uh, but it's time that we, we own uh, the uh, infrastructure uh, for uh, what's going to be happening in 2017. Africa. Okay, and it, it will be to us that we let somebody else uh, build that infrastructure uh, here in the West. Amen. Amen. Okay, so uh, we hope to see you there on that. But that becomes the basis for what we talk about in education. Okay, so when we talk about after school, and so we have a demonstration site uh, here in Cincinnati where all of our schools, all 55 schools here, are wired up in a virtual private network uh, that's attached by uh, 
connections. And each school has a lot of and uh uh yeah, six, uh, and you can press your button on um, star six. Yes, I, I have a question. Uh, I'd like to know uh, more about My Brother's Keeper of Africa. This is Carlton Brown. So let's see 
with uh, with that, I told you I'm going to keep it as a short uh, today. Okay, uh, let me see. Mashan, uh, with uh, your group, uh, do they have any questions or is uh, your technologist uh, on the line uh, that we can engage in that, those conversations? Four, three, six, one. Any 
other questions? You, sir, with the Philadelphia Yes, go ahead. Questions? All right. Like I said, today is going to be a short call. I apologize for that. We'll be able to take precedence. Unless, Wesley, are you on the line? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I was wondering if uh, you could take over for tonight unexpectedly. I, I know I didn't cut you on today's uh, call. Okay, but if you could uh, talk about the Congress of African People, give them a background on how we got here. And uh, if anybody has any additional questions, please email me at fauchairman at gmail.com. Uh, I really need to do family right now. All right, thanks, Rochelle. So, so any other last questions before we take them? I'm sorry. Chairman, uh, when shall I call up with you? This is Dr. Jones. What are we doing? Yeah, well, we'll, right, we'll, we'll I'll call you later, yeah. later tonight. Wesley, I'm going to leave the line open. Okay. And everybody, first of all, give me our phone number again. Please. 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 Sponsored by the African Union, uh, uh, Applesoft, the civil society portion of the uh, African Union. If you drop me a line, I'll make sure you get a conference uh, uh, 